Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial today. We're going to look at recolouring brushes in Illustrator and the sorts of options that you have, some of which are not going to be immediately apparent. Now, before I start the video, let me tell you where you can find additional Illustrator training. I have a series of courses at Udemy and in the description below are coupon links for all those courses. My coupon prices are always at least as good as anything that Udemy can offer and often they are better still. I also teach at Skillshare. The coupon in the description below includes an offer at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and again generally better. If you sign up for Skillshare, you'll get access to thousands of classes there, including over 200 of my Illustrator classes. So back to Illustrator, we're going to look at recolouring brushes. So I'll apply a colour to a brush stroke. So I'm going to just choose this default brush that's shipped with Illustrator. Let's just paint something and we have a line. I'm going to increase the stroke weight here. Now if I change the colour of the stroke, that should in theory most of the time change the colour of the brush and it works just fine here but it won't always work. And the reason why it won't always work is that if I double click on this brush, you'll see that its colorization method is set to tints. Now, if I set that to none and click OK, I'm just going to leave this stroke as it was, but let's go and paint a brand new stroke with that brush. And even though we have red selected as the color, the brush is not going to recolor and it will never recolor because this brush stroke has been applied with a brush setting that has been set to colorization method none. So it's the colorization method tints that allows the brush to pick up whatever the stroke color is. So first instance, if you have a brush that you can't change the color of, then try and open up the brush by just double clicking on it here in the brushes panel and check and see what its colorization method is. If you reset it to tints, then you should be able to recolor that brush. I'm going to apply it to all the strokes now and let's go and get a totally different color here just to prove that it's working just fine. Now there's another brush here in the brushes palette that's not going to respond in quite the same way. Let's go and apply this brush to a line. Now it's a pattern brush that's been designed to work on rectangles or sort of objects that have bent corners. So let's just go and apply it to a rectangle. And you can see that it is this sort of brown color that it was in the brushes palette. And the blue here is having no effect on the brush at all. Let's double click on the brush and see, well, its colorization method is set to none. So if we set it to tints, one might think that this is going to recolor. Let's click OK, apply to strokes, nothing happens. This brush is a bit different. This brush has been created with bitmap images. So it's not actually a series of vector shapes. It's actually a series of bitmap shapes assembled into a brush. So let's see what we're going to do with that. I'm going to drag the brush out of the brushes palette. I'm going to zoom in. I don't really want to change the size of the brush, but I do want to see things a whole lot more clearly right now. So here we have the corner. We have the main part of the brush and the inside corner. So let's see how we're going to change the color of this. I'm going to select over this and clicking on one of these shapes is selecting all of the shapes because they're all in a group together. There's the group. Here are the three pieces of the brush. Now we're going to break them out in a minute, but right now let's just keep them together. And these are bitmap images. In fact, you can see the sort of JPEG artifacting in this brush as it's been enlarged. So if I wanted to recolor this brush, I'm going to have to use a totally different technique to do so. Let's have a look at it. I'm going to choose edit and then edit colors. Now I find RGB a little bit easier to work with. So you can, if you wish, convert it to RGB before you do the next step. It just depends whether you work better in CMYK or RGB. So I'm going to convert it to RGB. Then I'll choose edit, edit colors and go to adjust color balance. I'm going to turn preview on and what I can do now is to adjust the colors in these little mini bitmap images using these sliders here remembering the opposite so red's opposite is cyan so if we go in this direction we add red if we go in the opposite direction we add cyan to the image green its opposite is magenta so this is the green end of the slider this is the magenta end of the slider 
and with blue it's blue and yellow go in the right direction for blue and the left direction for yellow and we can just pick a color I was actually going for a sort of blue so let's attempt to get some sort of a blue color here by just adjusting these sliders to get the sort of color that we want now this is an imperfect process it would probably be better if you took this to Photoshop and recolored in Photoshop so that you could isolate this sort of white areas and not recolor them but that said this is the process you somehow need to recolor the bitmap images that go to make up the brush now let's go and make a brush out of it because we're gonna have to rebuild this brush let's go to the layers palette because I'm going to need to have that open so that I can select the right bits for the brush so this middle bit here is the main brush so I'm going to make sure I have it selected in the layers palette just drag and drop it into the brushes panel create a pattern brush click OK and then click OK again so that's our pattern brush the basis of it this bit is this piece in here so we're going to target it in the layers palette drag and drop it in over the top here holding the alt key on the PC option on a Mac as you drop it into position and then it goes in as that outside corner the final piece is the inside corner same thing selected in the layers palette drag and drop it into this position here holding the alt or option key so that you can actually target this little box here as where you want the brush to go so just click OK now let's zoom back out with control or command zero let's select over this shape and let's apply our new blue brush to it now let's just go and change this color here to prove that the work is being done by the new brush and not by the stroke that we have set and again even changing the colorization method for this brush will have no effect on it it's not going to be able to be recolored by changing the stroke because it's a bitmap brush it just doesn't work that way let's have a look at some other brushes that are shipped with Illustrator I'm looking at the decorative text dividers here so let's go and have a look at one of these I'm going to grab my brush tool let's go and grab this divider and let's just sort of draw it out I'm going to enlarge my stroke so we can see it a little bit more clearly so this brush is created out of vector objects so these are vector shapes assembled into an art brush we know it's an art brush because it's not going to repeat along this line that's what an art brush is so if I double click on this brush you'll see that it doesn't have a colorization method set and the reason for that generally is when you have a multicolor brush like this you don't want to set a colorization method because if you do you're going to change all the colors in the brush so let me just go and set this to tints for example and now you can see that the colors going all over the place and we're losing the multicolors in that brush so let's go back and reset it to none the way it gets shipped and see what we can do to recolor this brush well because the brush is made up of standard vector shapes let's select over it and go to the recolor artwork tool these are the colors in the brush and I can do things such as rotating the colors around clicking on this icon here just rotates the colors around the brush I can also recolor the brush by clicking edit and then just drag on these sliders and these will allow me to pick the colors I want in the brush so if I want a brush that's sort of in the blue green palette I can bring pretty much all of the colors in the brush through round into this blue green area and that has given me a recolored brush I'll click OK and have a look here in the brushes palette Illustrator has gone OK the brush used to look like this but you decided you want it recolored so in the process of recoloring that brush let me make a new brush for you so this brush again will have none as its colorization method but it has the colors that you have selected to use in it so there's a little bit more flexibility built into art brushes because you can recolor them quite easily and that goes for scatter brushes too let me just go and get the decorative scatter brushes here is a decorative scatter brush and let me just paint a line with this decorative scatter brush 
and it too is made up of vector shapes. Select over it, go to the Recolor Artwork tool. Let's go straight into this dialog and let's change the colors of this again into that sort of blue green color space here for the brush. When we have something we like, I'll just click OK. Here is the original scatter brush and here is the new recolored scatter brush. So you do have lots of options for recoloring brushes in Illustrator. It's just important to realize that some of the brushes that are shipped with Illustrator are bitmap images assembled as brushes and they're going to recolor a totally different way. They're not going to behave exactly the same way as these vector brushes will. But once you're armed with the knowledge, you should be able to recolor almost any brush here in Illustrator. I hope this video has been of help to you. Please, if you enjoyed it, click the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so YouTube will alert you when new videos are released. And until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.